Good morning, it's Roger Gilbert here from International Aquafeed Magazine. I'm on the Rongo Rongo Live studio, and uh, it's great pleasure for me this morning to be talking about and introducing our managing editor, but talking about uh, our latest edition of Aquafeed. The June edition is out today. It's in the mail today, and uh, I hope you're looking forward to receiving it. Should be arriving in the next uh, week or 10 days on your desk. And by the way, it's interesting to know that our followers through uh, Twitter uh, for this title and this magazine is over 5,000, which is for a niche industry uh, most gratifying and uh, helps support uh, our, our effort to address the industry issues. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, Vaughan again this month. Uh, Vaughan, welcome to Rongo Rongo Live. Thank you, Roger. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your issue as uh, managing editor? Uh, what what have you found interesting this month, Vaughan? Lots of stuff in this issue, as always. Um, and it's interesting that our guest editor this month is Henri Parvignan. I'm sure I massacred that pronunciation. But anyway, Henri is the sales director for Blue Eye Robotics. And we have an, an article later in the magazine about the uh, ROV that uh, Blue Eye Robotics manufactures. But uh, one of the things that Henri talks about is how the industry is, is responding digitally to the COVID-19 lockdown. Uh, it's interesting that um, as, as, as we are at Perindale, we're now communicating uh, and, and running the magazine all from our own homes. Mm. We're able to stay in touch thanks to a combination of Skype and uh, digital I, IOP phones that, that uh, keep us connected. Now, it's similar things happening with industry, which is staying in touch with its uh, customers via webinars. I think this is becoming the, the vehicle of choice now to get the get information out to uh, to your to your customers into the world in general. And uh, it's interesting that um, uh, Henri is, is is brought that up. So we're very much in keeping with that. Yeah. Um, in our magazine, in general, we have a big changing of the guard as uh, some of our columnists are switching around. So sadly, we're saying goodbye to Neil Optoloni. A lot of people know Neil very well because he's a, uh, a much regarded technical expert in fisheries, aquaculture, and sustainable seafood. And Neil is moving to a new position with Seafish, the public body that supports the UK's 10 billion pound seafood industry. Neil is taking a position as the chair of Seafood 2040, which is an initiative to increase the value mm. of the seafood industry between now and 2040. So, again, we're sad to see you go, Neil, but thank you for the excellent columns you've been providing us, us with. Now, Neil is being very capably uh, replaced by Peter Johansson, who joined IFFO in 2018 as Director General. And in fact, you can read... Peter's very first column in this month's issue, which is about the circular economy in aquaculture. Well, Vaughan, it's, so, sorry, just so, talking about columnists, Vaughan, I mean, it's very interesting that this month we have uh, uh, Terry Chopin as our interview subject and uh, at the, in the, re the back of the magazine. And it's important, I think, to our readers that they know who our columnists are, and this is an opportunity to get to know Terry a little bit better. He writes regularly, and uh, he's he's a university professor. And he, we ask him a little bit about his background, which is uh, extremely interesting when it comes to uh, uh, seafoods and the whole uh, uh, round culture of uh, aqua aquaculture in it, in in its whole. So um, another columnist that's worth following through our magazines. Yeah, we're very lucky with uh, some of the experts we have working for us. Um, so, what seems to be the focus this month, we seem to have a theme, a common theme of, uh, of alternative and innovative protein sources in fish food. Um, we have an article about a joint venture between Buhler and the French company Agronutris, Agro and they are pursuing the black soldier fly larvae uh, protein alternative. Um, then we have an article from Acker Biomarine, and they are using krill in a special diet that's formulated for olive flounders. Um, then we have an article from BioVivo 
technical and uh, who are working with Nord University on a study into gut health. And I, I can't tell you how many seminars I've sat in now and, and, and programs that are discussing the importance of gut health. I mean, this seems to be the new paradigm that uh, everyone's realizing that the key to reducing antibiotic use and the key, the key to producing uh, good growth in fish is through the gut. The gut seems to be the focus of all that stuff. Is there anything that uh, struck you, Roger, in the magazine? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a, dy a dynamic and very full issue again. Uh, we look at uh, tilapia farming in Mozambique, for instance, which is a bit of an eye-opener, and it just shows us the, the juxtaposition of how developing countries are managing their aquaculture as opposed to the more advanced systems that we experience in, in developed countries, of course. So that's, that's a really good uh, article to, to read. Uh, but what strikes me also is our news section. I know we get a lot of news out through our digital platforms uh, as it happens, but uh, we capture the best of those news items in the magazine itself. And uh, the ones that stand out for me are, are Biomar and uh, its new project that comes to completion uh, this month or last month in Tasmania for producing uh, trucks are starting to roll out of the factory uh, and they're going to be producing over 1,100 tonnes, I think it's 1,100 tonnes, of uh, fish feed uh, in Tasmania for shrimp and uh, salmon uh, farming. That's huge. Which that is, is huge. huge. Yeah. And, and we, we also have, uh, obviously, um, more on biomar projects uh, around the around the globe in this issue, but we but scratching is is also there. It's signed a a, a letter of intent with UniBio in Denmark uh, to trial once again that single cell protein that we have heard about over a long period of time in in its shrimp feed. So you know just keeping up with the news and and the development within the industry is is good value. And uh, finally, which I would like to mention. As a final thing, Vaughan, before coming back to you, is uh, don't forget our Aquafeed Extrusion Conference on the 8th and 9th of July. As Vaughan was saying at the outset, this is a webinar. It uh, replaces a conference that we were going to hold. Uh, it's jointly sponsored by VIB and uh, uh, Aquafeed Magazine. And uh, me and Rears, uh, Dr. Me and Rears from Texas A&M, uh, is uh, our keynote uh, speaker and lecturer. So that's going to be two uh, morning sessions. So it's not uh, a full on one day uh, commitment by any, anybody in particular, but you can sign up uh, through the link on, on our website for that. But we're, we're hoping uh, to attract the same audience that we would have attracted on the same day if it had been held within the exhibition itself. So uh, looking forward to that form. Um, yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah, exciting issue. Yeah, lots of stuff in there. Yeah. And uh, there's an interesting article that uh, that I got through talking to actually the CEO of um, of uh, Blue Eye Blue Eye Pioneer, the, the ROV company. Um, I actually met him at the recent Aquanor uh, trade show in Trondheim, Norway. And uh, if you got there early enough, you could go down to the harbor at Trondheim. And you could actually have a test drive of the, of the Pioneer ROV. He was handing it around. It's, it's so easy to pilot. He was handing the controls around. And people could have a go you know, zipping around the harbor with this ROV. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do that, but that was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, one other thing we found, we don't have a lot of uh, show reports anymore because most of the shows have been canceled. But Ivan Marchetti from our South American office uh, recently attended LACWA which is a, the Latin American Aquaculture Conference uh, trade show, which took place in Costa Rica. So it's nice to have a trade show um, event report when we have hardly any anymore. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then, as Roger said, we, the interview, which is always at the back of the magazine this month, is on Terry Chopin, who is the professor of marine biology at New Brunswick University in Canada. So yeah. Yeah. altogether, pretty full magazine. Well. Don't forget, you can uh, subscribe to the magazine through the website if you don't already get a hard copy. But it's in the press as of Friday today. In, sorry, in the mail as of Friday today. Well, thank you very much, Vaughan, for taking us through the magazine. Uh, look forward to talking to you again next month. Uh, all the best in the meantime, and keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you.